John and Phil are on the couch with their new book, The Adventures of Chipmunk Jones. We talk about what inspired him to create a children's picture book and how you get to help out to fund the book on GoFundMe. This episode is sponsored by Mohawk Valley Living TV Show and Magazine. To find out how you could be a sponsor, message us on Facebook. Like our Facebook page and stay up to date with a new video every Tuesday. To watch the full interview, subscribe to our YouTube page, www.youtube.com slash onthecouchwgc. Welcome back to this episode of On the Couch with Gavin and Chris. On today's episode, we have... John, aka Chipmunk Jones, and Phil, and they got this awesome children's, children's, picture, book. children's picture, picture book. Children's picture book. Children's picture yes. book. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Called right. the Adventures of Chipmunk of Jones, Chipmunk which Jones. you can see yes, on the right there. there. You can see it. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. And so, story by John. Yes. And art by Phil. Illustrated. Yeah. Awesome. Illustrated by awesome guy. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. So, uh, tell us about Chipmunk Jones, I guess. Uh, if you if we go back in time about a year and a half ago. Um, I had this app on my iPhone, and it sped up my it videotaped me and sped up my voice. And so I'd get my guitar, and I did this thing where I would write songs off the cuff. Just pick up my guitar, do a chord progression, and make up funny lyrics, like I lost my frisbee. Um, but what what song it was was it was a song called TV Dinner, and it was like I'm Jones in for a TV dinner, and that's kind of like how the song went. And you can watch it on my YouTube channel. But anyways, so I, I started doing that, and I did a, about 10 or, 10 or 11 songs more after that and put them up on YouTube. And then so things started changing. I started looking at things differently, and, and I said, hmm, let me go a little further with this. And I started doing uh, movie reviews, you know, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. and With your uh, voice super, sped with, up. Right? Yeah, with, with my that, voice okay. sped up. <laughs> Not to sound like a chipmunk, just to sound kind of younger. Okay. You know, that's that's the whole point of it. Gotcha. Um, and then I just went a little further and started doing action figure reviews because it was fun. I started to remember being a kid and and playing with action figures. And, and there's a lot of people on YouTube doing it. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to kind of do it differently. So I put the Batman mask on and the glasses and, and talked funny. Um, just kind of like Pee Wee Herman kind of did that thing okay. you know and I wanted it I wanted to go further I didn't want to be really serious and talking about well this arm moves this way and you know I wanted to just make fun of the whole culture of action figure geek reviewers you know and so I'm I have a complete irreverent view towards my show and uh, then I said to myself who was Chipmunk Jones when he was a kid and then it just came to me, and I drew this picture of uh, this really bad drawing of Chipmunk Jones. <laughs> that's why you have Phil. Yeah, that's why I have Phil. I have, a, I have the real McCoy here. Right. And so um, I drew this picture of Chipmunk Jones looking at, him, at himself in his bedroom in a mirror um, the night of Halloween. And uh, he had his Batman mask on and his terry cloth bath, bath towel as a cape. <laughs> and I sent it to Phil, and I said hey, let's do a book. Let's do this book together. Because um, Phil was doing some drawings before that on another project with me um, that I'm still working on. But I said, this, is, this we can do quick. We can probably do this in a year. And Phil just did it. Nice. So then and how did you guys meet? Yeah, how do you guys know each other? Should we back to photo club. <laughs> it goes back to uh, the days of the days of the musical icon Joe Sweet. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so how many years have you known each other? Then? We've been. Uh, it's honestly, we, we've. I would say we've been acquainted. We've been acquainted because we yeah. may have hung out. I mean, this goes back to maybe mid nineties. Yeah, Nine Ball. Okay. That band. I, yep. I was we, hanging we out with. Through. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. hanging out with musicians, and he was hanging out yeah, with the, yeah. Joe Sweet, like Joe yeah. Sweet from Herkimer, or Frankfurt, where I'm yeah. from, and. 
the, the other guys in the band were from Utica, and Johnny knew those guys. Yeah, and Joe Manzloom. Yep. Yeah, so when... Uh, Joe's. When Joe's band, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Everybody's name was Joe back then. <laughs> and when so. the band hung out, the, the Utica folks and the Frankfurt folks, and you all know, just started mingling and going to yeah. shows and doing this stuff. And that's where we met. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, you know, fast forward 15 years. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I go back. I, I live in Minneapolis. And so I came in for this interview. And um, I walked in. I was just, I went to a bookstore. I went to the Barnes & Noble that yeah. he was working at. I was working there part-time. This was in like 2011, 12, something like that. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> I bumped into him. I was like, yeah. oh my god, oh my yeah. god, how you doing, you know? Yeah. Well, we'll stay in touch, yeah, man, good yeah. to see you. Yeah. And then two years later, we're, we connect by magical Facebook. Yeah, and I was hunting him down. I was stalking him because I needed an illustrator. Right. And at that right. point, you know, I, <laughs> I was like, Facebook, Phil. I have a Facebook page, and of course, I, I'm a syndicated cartoonist. So I put my comic strips up on yeah. Facebook and on Twitter and all, and I have them on my website. And... Um, I, I'm, I'm a shameless promoter too, so I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, this is my latest thing. And by the way, I'm available for hire because I do freelance work. Right. In John, I remember the the, the comment specifically. <laughs> I want to hire you. <laughs> <laughs> and I, did. I, I did. I did say exactly that. what he said. He goes, yeah, I want to hire you. I want to hire you. And from then, yeah. and drive you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that I did not know about. Uh, yeah, but um, little bonus. So he he contacted me that way, and yeah. he's like, yeah, I got this this teen novel that I'm working on called David Wiley and the Apple Pirates. Oh yeah, Pirates. Dave, yeah, David Wiley and the Apple Pirates is kind of like a, it's kind of, it's a novel. It's, but it's a middle reader novel, kind of like Harry Potter. Okay. Um, and I needed some inspiration. So I looked to Phil and I said, Phil, could you do, you know, I gave him the information about what the story was about and he did some drawings and he did some I did character amazing changes, character yeah. concepts. Yeah. And like, I, yeah. need, it takes place on this rickety old pirate ship that the kids cobbled together and was like we need a picture of that and we yeah. need a picture of the crow and and you know the main characters the main the characters story. of the yeah. story and so we started working yeah. on that and i was like getting really excited because yeah. number one the, the 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 chapters that he sent me were amazing you know and i was Thank getting you. super involved <laughs> I was, obviously oh, it's, it's so easy to work with someone when you're a impressed by their talent and B, sucked in by their enthusiasm. Yeah, yeah. I'm enthusiastic. And he's super, I mean, he's super <laughs> crazy. <enthusiastic. laughs> no. And just sitting next to him, you I'm like, geez, look at that. I'm Chipmunk Jones, <laughs> right? No. And so it started with that, and, you know, we, we did some stuff with that, and then it, it kind of, yeah. things, you know, life got in the way or whatever, and then he comes back later, maybe another year later, yeah. and he's like, I still want to work with, on you with something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, because the, the novel, I mean, when you write a novel, it's like, I've got 35,000 words pounded out but a novel is like 70,000 words so I was like feeling a little daunted mm -hmm. and the chipmunk Jones thing came up and I said hey let's do this because yeah. this is easy this is it. but it's actually not because so much work goes into a picture book it's a lot of work. Right. it is a, it's so much work and, and I, I work with a lot of different clients on all different levels and what I appreciate the most is when my clients give me direction you know it's nice to say oh yeah do what you want but then you send what you think your client wants and they're like no that's not what I want yeah. he went through all the time and trouble to mock up every image so he gave me precisely like a roadmap precisely what he wants in each image and he, he would forward me the, the the text that goes with it and um, it'd be like there you go boom nice. draw this yeah. awesome and i'll draw it and i'll send it off yeah. to him and there might be some minor tweaks there might be a lot of major tweaks <laughs> there might there be was only a couple <laughs> major tweaks <laughs> but no it was i said to him i said i said you know it's kind of like when george lucas was doing star wars you know george lucas drew the storyboards and he gave it to his production his creative crew and said make this happen yeah so basically i was I was drawing some things in the beginning, but then I started using Photoshop, and so Photoshop you got made things. From the stick figure. Photoshop made things go a little quicker, and I could grab images that I wanted, and and I'd send them off, and I'd say, "This is what, you know, I want to see." But Phil would take what I gave him, and just breathe so much life into it. Awesome. You know, that's. I mean, you know, I mean, look at that. Like when we did this. I said to him, because I think it was after about 13 illustrations, I said, we got to think about it. You said I think that. it was even sooner than that. I think you said that because your agent. Come, yeah, we had, 
Yeah, because I have another project that I'm working on related to my comic strip that, you know, I have an agent and they're telling me, it's like, this is what you need first. Yeah. Cover concept. So we need a cover concept. So we got a couple of illustrations mm -hmm. into it and then we're like, John, yeah. let's hammer out the color, yeah. cover concept because that's what's going to be the face right. of, of our book. So that... I did, he goes, all right, come up with something. I want him jumping out, and I want to see Godzilla, and I want robots, and I want spaceships, yeah. and I want all the shit that, all the stuff that kids, <laughs> <laughs> all the stuff, all the, <laughs> all the stuff that kids like, yeah. and, you know, imagination, and that's what we did. It's like, well, yeah. have him jumping out, and like, all right, we got Godzilla and a robot, and you know, space, and yeah. the bedroom, I, and yeah, it's all it's like awesome. very yeah. imaginary, you know. It's like I said to him, I said, it's, it's got to be like him jumping off of his bed, and. I wanted Godzilla and uh, the robot from uh, The Day the Earth Stood Still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I said, those are the two things that really scared me when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I wanted to pick the two things that yeah, scared me when I was where a kid. Those come from? Yeah. And, you know, I was, I was always, when I was a kid, I was always afraid of being abducted by aliens, too, because I, <laughs> I had this really active imagination. And uh, so he sends that to me, and I was and like, whoa. It, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, yeah. Yeah, and then John, he t John takes the, he added the background, because I just did the the, the image, the, yeah. the illustration in the middle, and then he put the rest of the background together. Well, I was inspired. What Phil sent me was so inspiring. It was like it's like he's jumping out of his world, right? And so where would he go? But space, you know. And so I I did the space background. I had the idea for the spaceships because I was really afraid of aliens when I was a little kid. I mean, in the '70s, aliens were a big deal. Right. You know, with Roswell and yeah, Area right. 51 and everything yeah. like that. Yeah. And so I really wanted to kind of. I was inspired basically what Phil sent me. That's what happened, and yeah. that's how. And I wanted to kind of have the the text be very comic book like. Right. So we work well together, I think. Yeah, it looks awesome. It, it, yeah, I'll send you know? him stuff. Like, I'll send him a finished image, and then he'll show me that he added a little thing here, a little thing here, like, um, even if it's just the A name, Rubik's Cube. Just a Rubik's Cube here. Just, and and it, he, it adds, you know, the, the, the cartoon element that I create, and yeah. then he adds the comic book element with the, the bam, the pow, and, like, all the little yeah. Easter egg extraneous stuff that yeah. kind of ties it all together. So mm. it's, it, yeah. it's actually really cool how it's yeah. coming out it, it's, it's a really great. it's going to be a really cool book when it's done yeah it's and it'll probably be done collaboration yeah going and even the and text stuff. yeah the text itself is is artwork because not only does we does johnny write out the the, the text but he adds embellishments like oversized letters and little graphics and icons that completely yeah. illustrate the text in itself. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, then, and then there's words, the image. Yeah, and give you know? you that, you know, so it's screen. like you've yeah. got a double whammy. It's like, bam, you're reading the book. It looks yeah. awesome. Bam, there's a picture. It's like <laughs> yeah. Muhammad Ali. Look, there, there, two, there's one part where it says something terrible happened. So I took the word terrible and I just like inflated it, you know, and made it red and just puffy like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it, it's very just, cool. just to have it's, fun. It's very you know, visually... Yeah, visually stimulating. I've yeah. tested the stuff on kids too. I've had kids read it, and they just laugh hysterically. So. That's awesome. Yeah, so that's, it seems like you guys work together extremely well. So we're both big kids, though. That's the yeah. thing. Too. I, mean, I mean, yeah, we all are. You know, <laughs> if, if Phil had more time, he'd probably come over and we'd just look through all my we action play. figures. <laughs> we'd play. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 set up dioramas yeah. and stuff like that. <laughs> but, um, but but another cool thing too. He 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 caught me. At the precise time in my life, because in my comic strip, I, I've taken the main characters who are like modern adults, yeah. and I was going through this time where I was thinking about being a kid, like my toys and Star Wars, because Star Wars was coming out, and I was thinking about all this stuff, and I, I, I'm going through this whole nostalgic phase where I'm, I took my characters back in time, and now, now it's almost like what Johnny's doing now. He's reliving his childhood, yeah, in almost a therapeutic way, and in my comic strip. I did the same thing. I right. took my kid yeah, back. Yeah, it's kind of weird that we're doing that at the same it's the same. time. So it's like a parallel. And we didn't even right? know that yeah. it was yeah. all happening. And so I'm going yeah. through all this nostalgic yeah. stuff where the kid goes back and meets his, he's playing with his toys again. He's reading the comic books yeah. and watching the cartoons. He gets to meet his mom and his friends and all that stuff. And he's essentially doing the same Ooh. thing. Yeah. So when he approached me with this, it's like, yeah, it's in the 70s. And you caught me right when you yeah, needed yeah. me because yeah, I'm yeah. already in yeah. that mindset. Yeah. yeah. And then I start he's sending me this stuff. Oh yeah, you remember the APX racetrack? I'm like, God, yeah, yeah you know? <laughs> it's gonna be they're gonna be in the basement. So it's yeah, it's grabbing me uh, it, it, the way my comic is, and it's it, it, it's taking me back. 
Right. Yeah. Don't forget to add Godzilla in the background. Oh, you remember the King Kong? Remember the Farrah Fawcett poster? There's, there's there's everybody a, had it. Yeah, there's a scene. So, there's a scene in the book where um, Norm Kenyatto, who is, and that's funny too. Like I grew up with my friend Norm Kenyatto, and he's actually a kids dentist in New Hartford, and he does kids dentistry, you know. And in his basement, we he had this AFX racing track, and and we would just, you know, uh, he was it was so much fun. Yeah. And so I thought about all the things that were going on during that year, and the Farrah Fawcett poster came out. And I was like, Instantly right and the King Kong movie with Jeff Bridges and uh, Jessica Lange came out. And I was like, you got to put, you got you to gotta cartoon uh, Farrah Fawcett poster and do a cartoon of the King Kong poster. Is that the poster. Farrah Fawcett poster from like she's Shawshank like, Redemption? No, she's like, no, that's, that's uh, shoot. Raquel Welch. Raquel Welch. It's the Farrah Fawcett where she's like this on, Did you yeah, on the Mexican her, blanket. She's got oh, the okay, Mexican yeah, blanket. Yeah. Did you yeah. just make her less sexy for the <laughs> Well, we, yeah, we, I said, I said I toned no. It down. I toned it down. I, I took away the, 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 you know what? <laughs> the, Everything's the, covered. The right? peas. In jeans. <laughs> I, I took away the headlights. The beans. Yeah. 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 But it's but it, but everyone that looks at it goes, oh, it's the Farrah Fawcett poster. You right. know? Yeah. And it's like the one that was on every teenagers like every prepubescent yeah, yeah in, uh, in, in young America. man <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned you're living in minnesota right now yes i live in minneapolis, minneapolis. Well, bloomington minnesota which okay. is just a suburb of minneapolis and you said you guys haven't actually seen each other in like five years in, or something? yeah yeah five years today was the first time you saw each other yeah five. today was the first time we saw we're glad we like, could bring you guys yeah, back together years. right yeah, no lie right? yeah, awesome. yeah it's it's yeah it was so, like i said it was surreal he gets out of the car he gets out of his dad's car and Dad's I'm like, mafia car. Yeah, the yeah. mafia car. He said it was and, boxing, uh, so. yeah. it was just, it was just, <laughs> it was like surreal, but it was comfortable at the same time. Yeah. It, I, I, whenever I come home, I, it's almost, I've been gone, I've been living away from the valley for 15, 20 years. And I come back every couple of years or whatever. And I see these guys, every, well, every couple of years and it's, it still amazes me that every or it boggles my mind you come in and it's like i come in i'm coming home from the airport on friday night and it's almost like i never left you just slide right back right, into that yeah. familiarity it's like yeah. yep I'm on I yeah. there's your exit for that there's your exit for westmoreland next exit is going to be rome and, like, and then you get home and it's like nobody yeah. ever left because nothing's really changed yeah. and it's almost like you never left mm -hmm. and it seemed like with seeing these guys with seeing john and my, and my family and my friends my other friends i could have seen you yesterday and right. that's how it feels because right. you're you're familiar and we you're, we're in, yeah. we're in constant contact so it's not yeah. like you don't see him for 30 years and then all of a sudden he pops up it's like we're on the phone we're emailing we're yeah. constantly sharing facebook messages and stuff mm -hmm. yeah. and uh he sends Oops. text messages like a champ oh. i tell you so you guys you guys actually um game got the money for this through gofundme right yeah which is really it's it's kind of a weird thing because yeah. like in this situation we're asking people to give us money for something we can't give them yet. So we've done pretty well. We've done people have been well. pretty successful with you know Kickstarter and stuff yeah. like that locally. Yeah. I've seen a lot of that. So GoFundMe is kind of the same idea, right? Yeah, we've, mm -hmm. we, we wanted to do 100 uh, books. And I think we are halfway there. So that's pretty good. And the printing part of it? Uh, the printing is going to be done in Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's kind of funny. There, there's a there's a magician named Doug Henning, who was part of my childhood, and he's in the book. And he was from Winnipeg, and the printers are from Winnipeg. So it's so it was just kind of like and and when I sent the printers some of the beginning PDFs of the illustrations, they were like blown away. I told you. Yeah, you're talking about. And that. I was like, I was like, these guys in Canada are like what is this all about <laughs> and they were all excited and when we had the shirts made and when we had the banner made yeah. uh the people doing the banner were like what is this all about and so it was it was like it felt really good to yeah. get that that's, kind of excitement awesome, from yeah. people yeah. who didn't yeah. even know what we were doing yeah. but they were like they saw phil's images and they were like wow what yeah is this? i want to read this i want to read this, this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. that's awesome yeah oh, he's been tirelessly promoting it too <laughs> yeah shamelessly <laughs> and guerrilla marketing <laughs> and it's been generating interest i mean yeah, yeah. So people have, have been buying the book you know the gofundme pre-orders up pre-orders and you know he he's got all the kids that is at the school he teaches at yeah. involved and interested in the teachers and the people that were actually 
featured in the book. Right. Of course. Right. Yeah. They're like, yeah. oh man, that's me. Yeah, my, yeah. my, 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 uh, my fourth grade teacher, Miss Darling, uh, bought 10 copies, <laughs> you know, and I went to her house and I gave her the illustration of her oh, that right. you did. Yeah, yeah. And she was really excited. I said, you can put this on your refrigerator. You know? <laughs> I know. Johnny yeah, did this and, uh, <laughs> So there's a lot of people in the book that are well known in Utica, Bob Aquaviva, um, Jerry Krause from 96.9 right, FM, WOUR, mm -hmm. uh, Art Nicotera of Nicotera's Music. Um, and teachers. three teachers from Kemble School, Miss Cleon, Miss Darlene, and Miss Reed. And uh, Did you get a gold star when you brought her the illustration? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she was a great teacher. She kind of was an inspiration. Uh, she used to read children's books to us aloud. And when I was a kid, I used to get library passes. And every time I go to the library, I would always get Maurice Sendak's Where the Wild Things Are, mm. because that book holds its own just on its illustrations. It has very little text. Mm. So with this book, there's a lot of text, actually, yeah. and it works It works pretty well. Yeah, it's a balance. Plus yeah. there's a lot of cool, great uh, Utica locations. Yeah, the Obelston, uh, Utica Free Academy, Kemble School, um, and Kemble School was leveled, so it's kind of like, you know, I'm... I'm putting a lot of people into this book, yeah. and it's not really self-serving. It's not just, it's not, it is my story, but it's about how all these people impacted me as mm -hmm. a kid. Yeah. Right. And it's kind of like saying thank you. Yeah, that's cool. You know? Well, you're immortalizing them and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Threatened stuff, yeah. So yeah. That's pretty really cool. Like, yeah. yeah. They're all like superheroes. They're all superheroes. <laughs> yeah. That's right. So, um, yeah, so it's fun. So, yeah, tell us about your YouTube channel. Okay, YouTube channel is uh, Chipmunk Jones, and that's it. It's uh, youtube.com slash I am Chipmunk Jones, and uh, I do action figure reviews, movie reviews, and just a lot of ridiculous geek stuff, and it's a lot of fun. That's cool. Yeah. So that's another way you're promoting, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. It's kind of like Chipmunk Jones grown up acting like a complete <laughs> child <laughs> <laughs> that's more promotion right? yeah, yeah. mask and everything yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so you're uh it's you're gonna be at uticon then right uticon october 2nd sunday uh 10 o'clock in the morning till four in the afternoon where is it uh at mock valley oh. community college at the gymnasium and some of my friends dave delachase uh Love dave. who has a comic book yep uh, holidays dave was a big inspiration for this thing too. A shout out to Dave Delachase. Yeah, he's a good dude. And oh, and um, we did. Uh, we got a Mohawk Daily Living did a great um, spread on us. Love those guys. Uh, we thank you, Lance. Yes, yeah, right. thank thanks, you, Lance. Thanks, Lance. Thanks, Lance. That's right. You did a great job. Lance is and uh, yeah, yeah they, they, they do such a great <laughs> job. Mohawk Daily yeah. Living does a great job. Yeah. Uh, and um, Ravenswood Comic Books. Shout out to Ravenswood right. Comic yeah. Books. Because they're really supportive so, of it. Yeah. And they're looking forward to see it and holding on and put it on their shelves. Oh, yeah. I remember when I was a kid going into Ravenswood all the time. So oh, yeah. I love that store. Yeah. Back when it was on Genesee Street next to Stanley. And yeah. So, yeah. So, nice yeah. Yeah. nice yeah. to go to Ravenswood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 For sure. All right. So awesome. That's it. Pretty much. So, how do we uh, get a hold of you guys? And yeah, how do people book? find you and stuff? Um, if you want to buy the book, you can go to www.gofundme dot com slash chipmunk jones okay. and we're also on facebook uh chipmunk jones uh, chipmunk jones can. picture book right okay. and phil if you're interested to see in um, more of what i do my comic strip is called best in show mm -hmm. i have a website you can go to best in show comic dot com and check out there there's contact pages there's also links to my professional portfolio of, of illustrations and stuff cool um I'm also on Facebook. You can do uh, facebook.com slash best in show comic and find me on Twitter uh, at best in show comic. That's everything. Definitely does. check those out. Yeah, awesome. please do. Follow my comic, best in show comic. Okay. It's great. It's so, so cool. funny. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah. And awesome. tell them about Europe, too, right? Oh, yeah. Um, my comic strip is syndicated. I just signed a deal with a company, an agent, or a, a company called Bulls Press, and they, um, they do licensing and syndication in Europe. So my comic strip, best in show, <laughs> is going to be featured in 
German-speaking country, so we're talking it's going to be features in, in, in daily and weekly newspapers in Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Czechoslovakia, oh, and, wow, other, and cool. other German-speaking countries. Wow, really? And it's also, here in the U.S., it's distributed through uh, Tribune Content Agency, which is out of Chicago, and it's, it's um, sent to colleges and universities across yeah. the U.S. Cool. So you can find me there. Awesome. Is oh, it on cool. the web, too? Uh, my comic strip? Yeah. It is. It's at bestinshowcomic.com. Okay. You can also go to philgiulianoillustration.com. They both direct you to the same site. Cool. Yeah. yeah. We awesome. also added shirts to our GoFundMe. Nice. So the book is $15 local, $19 shipped, and the T-shirts are $16 local and shipped. So we're basically uh, selling them as low as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So we're really not making any money off the shirts, but we want to get the shirts out there. Well, they're people, cool shirts. Right? That's a yeah. great illustration. So Thanks. That's awesome. There's one more um, Facebook page. I, since we're talking about it, um, I, I'm writing a chapter, a children's chapter book. Not a children's picture book, <laughs> but a children's chapter book where um, it's more writing than text. But uh, it's called Peach and Spence, The Amazing Time Traveling Toy Rescue. <laughs> and it's scheduled to be out in December of this year. Cool. And uh, you can follow what's happening with that at facebook.com slash Peach and Spencer. Awesome. Yeah. He's awesome. I, mean, well, I have yeah, to say thanks this. Thanks for hanging out with us on the <laughs> couch, right? Yeah. I have this exact same right. couch at home. <laughs> exact, so and I'm going to tell you something. It doesn't fit through doors. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have big double doors we, to get it. It doesn't fit through it. doors. I've destroyed the back of my couch trying to get it through my doors to get into my house. But... um. <laughs> now I think it's fine. It's finally found its final resting place. So. Nice. Yeah. It's we like just I, like it's to like rearrange it, it here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, we we carry it in at, in the beginning of every episode. Yeah, every so. episode we put it in. <laughs> yeah, that's why right. you guys have those big muscles. Right, right. <laughs> just right. couches right. every day. Yeah. Yeah. Just <laughs> two Throwing guys and truck and a camera. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. So thank you for being on the couch, Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I really enjoyed this. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So yeah, if you want to check out their stuff here's a bunch of links yeah all of them <laughs> down here and uh yeah if you want to check out more videos we're doing every tuesday make sure to like our facebook page facebook.com slash on the couch wgc and check out the full interview on youtube.com slash on the couch wgc and thanks for watching <laughs> If you guys want to sponsor On the Couch with Gavin and Chris, send us a message on Facebook and learn how. 